Hi, everybody. Laura here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a colorful birthday project to share with you. It's going to be featuring this beautiful harvest stencil. It's not a new stencil, but I haven't used it. And I don't know what in the blue blazes I've been waiting for because she is a beauty. And I'm masking off all the edges. This would be an octagon, I think. And so each one of the little segment there's like eight segments to this octagonal design and i masked off each one kind of reminds me of a pizza so i got each little pizza pie shape there and this first one is i'm ink blending it with old paper a very underappreciated color if i do say so myself and then in the corner gotta have some gradients so i did peeled paint i take off the mask and then i'm going to mask off the second little pizza shape and then this one's going to get a base coat with cracked pistachio. By the way, I'm using all Distress Oxide inks. You can use whatever inks that you have. But cracked pistachio is one of my all-time fave colors. That and Twisted Citron. Now for the darker shade to go with cracked pistachio, I went with evergreen. Do you say evergreen bow or evergreen bow? I should know that, but I don't. Now for the next segment, uh, lighter lighter blues. I got tumble glass, and then for the darker gradient look, a little salty ocean. Hello, beautiful blue. Kind of went through my um, distress oxides and tried to pull out some colors that I don't use as much. So for this purple one, shaded lilac. I hardly ever use that, but boy. It's nice to use some colors that you don't use all the time. You know what I mean? It makes you appreciate the little things. And for the darker, I did Wilted Violet, which I do use that one on. I already know. I love it. And so now I wouldn't say this is, you know, an in-your-face rainbow, but it has some rainbow undertones. Not going to lie. Now for the pink section, I'm using some spun sugar, a beautiful light bubblegum color. And then for the darker pink in the corner, I'm bringing in some picked raspberry. Now, if you can't tell by looking at this project, you could see that I have some slight, slight issues with post-it tape. I go through a lot of it. And sometimes I think, am I being wasteful? I don't know. But I mean, look at all the post-it tape on this project. I just go to town. And the thing is, it loses its stickiness after a while. Uh, I've tried lots of different masking tapes. You know, I've got the purple thermal web. I've got the blue painter's tape. Now, this was going to be a one-layer wonder. I always start out thinking, today, I'm going to make a one-layer wonder. And then look what happens. I chop it up. I start adding dimension. Next thing you know, I got 25 layers, and I need a box to mail it. But I get carried away. So I thought, I'm going to go with that octagonal shape and pop it up on a card base and then you know what happened after that guess what i changed my mind and then i thought i'm going to go with the circular shape so i took one of the larger nested circle dies and die cut this entire ink blended panel and made it into a circle oh yeah you're getting to see the evolution or should i say the insanity at its finest running this through the gemini jr Please tell me I'm not the only one who changes their mind 35,000 times just to make one card. Sometimes I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing. But you know what they say? Hey, if you don't know what you're doing, just do it with confidence. That's all you got to do. So now for the uh, sentiment, I've got these big happy word dies. This is the kind where you get the, you get the word die and then you get the outline or the shadow. So I die cut the word happy with white glitter cardstock. It's Simon's stamp and I I die for it. I buy it the pack cuz you get the you get the glitter and you get the white neutral, but it doesn't wipe off on your hands. And then I did the shadow with some dark gray slate. I'm adhering this card all together. First up is tape runner on the back of the glittered circular panel hangs off the side so i'm going to trim off that excess off camera and then i got a ton of foam tape on the back of my stenciled little background popping that up and then now for the sentiment the happy the big happy word die i'm putting some tono, tombow mono liquid adhesive little dots of it but i'm going to adhere the happy slightly up to the top left so that shadow kind of drops down and then i'm going to emboss a coordinating sentiment this is the birthday palooza stamp set designed by kathy zilski i'm embossing the sentiment in white 
onto some doll pink cardstock. You can see it says birthday to you. I end up trimming off the to you, just keeping the birthday. So after I hit it with a heat gun, I take one of the uh, sentiment label dies to trim it out. And then I just trim the sides with my paper trimmer. I've got foam tape on everything. Like I say, I'm not happy until there's 55 layers. I didn't even add any sequins. Can you believe it? But there's enough glitz with the white glitter cardstock that I'm ha like, it's glittery, but it's simple, but yet it's colorful and it's happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.